Well, you'd think they would have figured it out right away because they had burns on their hands. And if they carried a vial of the stuff in a pocket, they got a burn on their body. So this wow. immediately drew the attention of medical doctors who saw this material as a treatment for cancer. And for several decades, radium was the cure for cancer. For tumors, you would, you would uh, attack the, the cells of a tumor. Exactly. And it, it would radiate destroy... into the cells of the tumor. Exactly. Wow. How would they yeah. do? Would they drop radi radium into the it, tumor itself, or it, what would they it, do? It changed over time. So the first two patients, two women with breast cancer, were actually brought into the Curie's laboratory. Wow. And had their so somebody had to have that thought to even yeah. consider this. Right. There was harm associated with it, obviously, but it was doing so much good, mm -hmm. and it was so interesting. When did they find out that radioactivity also causes cancer? <laughs> well, I think the real big moment was in the 1920s oh, with the, yeah. with the, um, the dial painters. So these were young women painting the numbers on glow-in-the-dark watches right. and instruments using paint that actually contained radium. Right. And they were told to, to put the paintbrush between their lips to get a nice, nice point. Nice yeah. yes. And it destroyed their jaws, and they oh died. 